Well, you're from Four Guys Guns, and today I want to talk to you guys about your EDC or everyday carry. You see it all the time on Facebook or on Instagram, things like that. Hashtag EDC shows your pocket dump, all that cool stuff, whatever. For me, belts is kind of a serious thing. I have no butt, I got a big gut, and I carry a lot of stuff. How do you hold your pants up and all that fun stuff with all this EDC? Well, you need a good belt. So I've gone through many belts, including the $15 one from Old Navy, including the ones from Walmart, things like that. And the downside to things like leather and the cheaper belts is while they may be good and stiff, especially the leather, um, eventually they start sagging. They get, you know, sweat and they sag. They, they get wet and they sag. It's just a, a constant replacing situation. Some of you are lucky. Some of you get those $15 belts and they're good for two years because all you carry is like a Ruger 6 or something. I don't know. For me, fat kid, need a big belt. So what is a good belt, you know, in my eyes, because that's that's what matters here, is uh, it's got to be stiff, it's got to be flexible, and it's got to be easy to get on and off. We've all done the Cobra game where you have the big scuba webbing and multiple straps, like your riggers loop, and you have to take the buckle off just to get it through the actual pant legs. It gets old. Then you have some of the newer belts that actually have really slick buckles that work really good. Don't require you to trim belts and have you know, five different belts for whether it's winter or summer because you dropped weight, you gained weight. Um, but then you have this kind of new-ish thing from Boxer Tactical, and I say new-ish because this type of belt has been in golfing and in uh, parts of Europe and European sports for a while now, and now it's making its, it's starting to make its debut into the tactical world. What has led the way for making a belt like this available in the tactical world is the fact that we now have this wonderful new material. You've probably seen it on some of Magpul's belts where it's literally, it's, it's scuba webbing like you're used to seeing in aerogun belts, but it's uh, coated in polymer. It's like a polymer rubber hybrid compound and it's great because it's trimmable with regular old kitchen scissors, um, like your utility scissors, trauma shears, and you can round off the edges nicely and make sure they're nice and clean with a lighter. Um, it's embossable, it's machinable, like you can do a million things with it. And it's waterproof, water resistant, fade resistant, and vertically, it's stiff as all hell. But it still flexes and flexes around, you know, a guy like me all day long. I'm lucky I was one of the original prototype testers of the uh, original Apogee. It wasn't even named the Apogee yet. And this one's from April 2016. So several months ago, you know, I got sent this from Boxer and they said, hey, tell us what you think, give us feedback. and. You know, you work behind the scenes, then you end up with this guy after all the feedback from me and other testers, which is awesome to be a part of this. And this is your final product. It's a lot thinner, it's a lot lighter, there's less moving parts, and it works exactly the same, if not better. How does this work? Well, you have this back plate right here, and two screws right up here, two Allen screws, comes with a little Allen key, and you get this length of belt, you attach the belt via a spiked tooth pattern clamp down system here. Once that's on there, this really goes around you. You go in the hole and it catches the clasp, which you can hear it clicking. And then it holds tight. And the adjustments are so much closer than a regular hook and loop belt without you having to make your own ungodly holes. And it's all nice and clean. There's no holes. It's a perfectly clean, crisp line. I mean, that's, that's a gun belt. It's classy right there, if you ask me. 100% USA made, 100% USA sourced, 100% USA assembled, and it's only 100 bucks. Yes, I said only. Good belts cost money. Good things cost money. Can you get by with cheap stuff? Absolutely. In the firearms world, if there's anything I've learned, it's buy once, cry once, 90% of the time. Most of my belts are 150 to 180 bucks. For 100 bucks, this is a steal. They're releasing it with three different colors, I believe, out the gates. And at 100 bucks, you know, personally, if it was me, I'd buy two just because I'd like a brown and a black. But you can also, I believe he's planning on coming out with uh, different colors so you can mix and match. Either way, check it out. Awesome belt that I have constantly in the rotation. Check them out, boxertactical.com. This is called the Apogee Belt. It's a great system. I love it. You stay safe, check your chambers, and keep those pants up. You just lift that latch. That comes right out.